In this video, I'll be talking about the latest U.S. Housing Starts data, which was for October, against my softwood lumber prices, which are for November. Hello again, everyone. Kata Kosman, publisher of Madison's Lumber Reporter, here at the end of November to talk about what is going on with U.S. Housing Starts, the latest data on construction activity, and what's happening with the lumber prices, which, as you know, gives you a good forward indicator of what to expect for the next Housing Starts uh, release, because the lumber prices that I talk about are on time, are for that week. And so we had with lumber a leveling off there. Um, there was a drop following Labor Day for a few weeks and then a leveling off for a few weeks. And that was on the benchmark Western Spruce Pine Fir KD 2x4, number two and better, US $490 per thousand board feet. And that lasted for a few weeks and is now slightly down. Uh, and I'll show you the graph in a minute. And so that's normal usually definitely following uh, U.S. Thanksgiving uh, and into December, prices are dropping for lumber quite a bit because the construction activity is slowing down as the winter weather is upon us. So let's look at the graphs right now and I'll come back and tell you a little bit more in detail. This graph is showing housing starts against my lumber prices, the three colored lines which are close together there are the three main construction framing dimension two by four prices, Western Spruce, Eastern Spruce, and Southern Pine. The purple line at the top is total starts and the pale blue line is single family starts. This graph is showing 2019 to present. So total starts in October were down 4.2% at 1.425 million units and we're down 8.8% from October of 2021 at 1.563 million units. For permits, total permits were down 2.4% to 1.526 million units from September, and we're down 10% from October 2021 when it was 1.698 million units. Now I will point out again that August permits were only 7.6% above October starts, which shows there is yet a good momentum for housing construction. And some more detail on the lumber prices. Here is that benchmark Western Spruce Pine Fir KD 2x4, number two and better. I show you all the time. It is in the previous graph, but this is showing you a year over year overlay. So at the end of November, that price is US $475 per thousand board feet, which is down $15 from, like I said, $490, where it was at for most of October, and is up $13 from September when it was $463. It's down $170 or 26% from November of 2021 when it was $645. So if you look at this graph and you see in December of last year and the year before quite an increase, that happened for completely different reasons. This year we do not have the terrible weather emergencies and destruction of highways and railways like we had at this time last year. So that yellow line for this year is showing rather flat and probably will stay that way. Okay, great. So yes, with housing, things are down. Uh, we knew that was going to happen. You know, the interest rate situation threw a lot of people off. And I really, it looks like there was a lot of people who were stretching to their maximum credit limit that were aiming for the very highest value home that they could afford. Okay. Because if that many people get knocked out of financing, due to these, I mean, I know the interest rates are higher than they have been, but they're still low compared to, you know, historical for decades, right? Um, so the, the way that it looks is that there is pent up demand for housing by people who either stepped back earlier in the year, six months ago, and waited to see how this is gonna play out, 
or people who are adjusting the kind of homes that they're going for to something that is a little bit more within their price range and gets them back into being approved for financing to be able to get that home. Okay, so we have a slowdown, but it's not as steep as some people were trying to say back in the summertime when the interest rates started to go up and we knew they were going to go up higher. Now we've got, you know, a bit of a seesaw where that's dropping. Uh, and there is a lag between, you know, the uh, time when the interest rate announcement is made and the cancellation of the home sale or the cancellation of the housing project comes on. But we're sort of getting into that now. Uh, so usually at this time of year, things start slowing down. Yes, they're down compared to September, uh, but they're not really down by super bad. And full year to date for this year is close to full year to date 2021 in terms of housing starts. Single family a little bit down, but again, nothing lasts forever. It was, you know, almost two years of just a wild ride. Of course, there's going to be a recovery. The thing to be paying attention to is what's going to happen in the spring. And I'll be able to tell you that because my lumber prices are going to say in January what construction is going to be in March and April. This is because the large volume buyers, the large builders and the retailers make their orders at the very beginning of the year for the demand for the construction that they are expecting to happen in the middle of, in the spring and when uh, building activity is at its highest. This graph specifically is showing you single family starts. It is the largest component of new home building and it's quite important to the lumber industry because it is the uh, segment that uses the most wood. So again, the same three colored lines as the previous graph and then single family starts and single family permits there. As you can see, tracking really very closely to the lumber prices. We have single family starts for October down 6% to 855,000 units and permits down 3.6% to 839,000 units. So it's down, but that's normal for the time of year. It's going to be down in December for the release that we will see in January. Uh, and then it will start climbing again a little bit um, if we take the normal, normal seasonal historical trend. Um, there was 1.722 million units under construction, which is far surpassing the historical record in the 1973 building boom when it was 1.628 million. So like I said, uh, it looks like there continues to be momentum for housing demand. It's not expected to be anything like the very highs that we saw during 2020 and 2021, which also brought the really high lumber prices, but it's not the massive crash that a lot of people started to say was going to happen when interest rates started going up earlier this year. And once again, my lumber prices for the very end of November uh, this week compared to last week are the pure weekly prices. The last month column there is the monthly average. You can see how um, there was a drop and then a leveling off. These prices are averaging somewhere between 23% and 44% down compared to one year ago. So the stability looks like it's returning to the lumber prices where we had that incredible volatility which made it very difficult for people to plan. It made it very difficult for people to understand where was the market at any given time and potentially where could the market be going. And a lot of people are suggesting that next year 2023 will uh, be a return to more flat or like more stable lumber prices as society has adjusted. Wonderful. So that is a good picture of where we are at right now at the end of November and, you know, maybe somewhat of an indication of what might be coming 
in December, but really more importantly, come back to see what I'm going to be saying in January and February, because that's going to tell you what's going to be happening in the spring when the construction starts to ramp up again normally for the seasonal time of year. If you like what you see here, click like on the video so that it will get recommended to other viewers. Click subscribe here on YouTube so you'll be notified when I make another update once in a while when I have time. But definitely in the caption is a link to my website. You can go there to the subscribe menu, fill out a form. We will send you a sample of the full 500 individual softwood lumber and panel commodity prices that we track every week and the 1300 word commentary that goes along with that so you can see the prices that we carry, what is the price right now, and what is happening, why is that price doing that. Then, if you like the sample and you know that it will be useful for you, then subscribe to my actual dashboard and get all of this information every Friday morning when it comes out through your login instead of just waiting until we post on the website or I have a chance to make a YouTube.